Hey guys, it's me, Twilight Shimmer. And today I'll be reacting to The Road Less Scheduled from Season 2 Choose Your Own Endings. Well, uh, let's get right into it. Alright, Spike, my algorithmically. Hey, it's Derpy Balkan Snips dancing, I guess. Weird. The generated festival schedule has optimized a route to see all the best bands. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that poor phone. Huh. <sighs> Gross. It's not working. Well, of course it's not gonna work because it's you know fell on his um sweaty body, I guess. How are my decisions supposed to get optimized now? You've stumbled onto the path was planned for. How exciting! How excruciating! Maybe I could log on to someone else's schedule. Oh, you mean metaphorically speaking? Because we'd follow the passion of others to guide our experience? Hmm. Who should I follow? Anyways, um, let's go option one, which is microchips. I think it was microchips. Let me check. Yeah, it was microchips. Thanks for letting us tag along, microchips. What's up first? <gasps> You're into MC Dex effects? I love MC Dex effects. Huge fan. Huge. You are. I know. Go back for us Tag along, microchips. What's up? I mean, I'm sorry. Go back. Letting us tag along, microchips. What's up first? <gasps> You're into MC Dex effects? I love MC Dex effects! Um, Twilight, I think. I think MC Dex. MC. Whatever it is, it means something else for, for you, to be honest. Huge fan! Huge! You are? I know everything there is to know. I even have the exact same 42 3C effects pedal from. Okay, I don't think you know what he's talking about because people can have different things, I guess. By MC Dex Effects Build It Yourself Theremin! Actually, MC uses a 42 double odd pre effects mixer. Did you know the MC stands for modulate? Okay, why didn't Twilight hook up with this guy instead of, you know, Timber Spruce? It computer sounds one word! It actually doesn't trust me i read all her biopics the original screenplays wait her biopics you think mc dex effects is a girl just because she always wears a helmet made of recycled disco balls doesn't mean i can't tell i guess we'll see oh we will see won't we i guess <coughs> sorry <coughs> some little context here this person is uh, microchips. It's not a girl, sadly. Not gonna lie, guys, like that music is kind of awesome in my opinion. MC microchips? Huge fan. Huge. <laughs> Okay, okay, Twilight, that face is funny. <laughs> Anyways, that was option one. And now let's go to option two, which is Fluttershy. Thanks, Fluttershy, for letting me come along to whatever this is. Aren't we gonna miss your band? Almost ready. Just taming a few last baby flyaways. Tote bag, please. Ugh, yikes. What's Jesus, how heavy is that bag? You got in here, Osmium bricks? Smells like bones. I mean, it makes sense because you're a dog, Spike. You think everything smells like bones. Okay, that's a little weird for Flourisha, in my opinion. Whoa, you did your nails? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, really, what is this, Flourish Eye? It's. It is one of you into, like, heavy metal and death. 
I'm sorry, go back. That face is funny. Go back. <laughs> I told you I smelled bones. Brutal skulls, fellow cruncher. You too, fellow cruncher. Twilight, really? Oh dear. Um, so after we went to Equestria World, vignette. Okay, so I guess so I guess this did I guess this did come after Sorry, <clears throat> I guess this came after what was it? Spring breakdown where Sunset took everyone through Equestria back to um like CHS, I guess. That introduced me to this band Skull Cruncher. Yes, I know it seems brutal, but their lyrics are surprisingly poignant once you get past all the skull crunch. I mean, I guess Flourishai isn't really much of a softie if if you think about it. <laughs> You're thinking I need more makeup, or that I'm weird? Is that it? No, I'm thinking I need more black nail polish. <laughs> okay, never mind. She, she she did have bones in her bag. And we haven't even turned on the skulls. Okay, never mind. Like that skull is fire. Whoa! Pretty. I mean, pretty brutal. I mean, I mean, it's pretty fire, in my opinion. Anyways, that was option two, and now let's go to option three, which is a Celestia. Principal Celestia? Twilight Sparkle, how wonderful! I didn't know you did things. Um, Twilight, why are you surprised? Um, everyone has their own life, you know that, right? Like, for instance, I'm a fast food worker, and yet I'm literally recording YouTube videos after work, or before work, really, well, well no, not before work, because, you know, well, I do, okay, never mind, but, but you get the idea, just because you don't see someone do stuff, doesn't mean that they're not doing it. But not just me, the whole Star Swirl Squad's here too. Hey, it's Cranky Doodle and Luna. We're original Star Swirlers. Been coming together since the fest started back in. When was it? Yeah, I don't think it's best to discuss that with young people. <clears throat> Mr. Cranky Doodle loves his electropop under the stars. That and the <laughs> secret falafel booth. Okay, I guess I guess this ending's more interesting in my opinion. There's a secret falafel booth. Stick with me. We're old school. A paper schedule from the OG rainforest. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I don't know where it's from. You know, that's actually funny how we see Celestia more. I don't know. What's the word here? But she's more mellow in in this in the human world than the pony world because you know, in my opinion, Celestia in my in French with magic is always serious about you know protecting Questria until the final season, where she basically is like, "Hey, Twilight, listen, uh, we gave you some time to you know do whatever you want, but now you have to take over for Luna and I." Okay, also, I mean, I also guess that's, like, Celest Celestia's daughter as well, granddaughter, I think? Oh no, not the puppy dog eyes. Oh, oh, that's got hurts. Thanks for teaching me so much today. 
I should have you send me letters. Oh no. <laughs> I love how they I love how this is a callback to how in Frenchers Magic Celestia tells Twilight to write her letters, explain her lessons about friendship. <laughs> After every music festival telling me what you learned, hmm? Uh <laughs> just kidding. That would get old. Oh thank god she was joking because I thought she was actually gonna do that. I could text you? Let's just forget it. <laughs> Anyways, that was my reaction to the road less scheduled. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.